that's true. That is true. Specifically, <laughs> specifically request that we use Guan Yu Aspect Spear. And that way, <laughs> we'll die really early. We'll get lots of runs in. That's probably true. So you know what? I was gonna say that this was probably going to be uh, late enough that we would not have the chance to do any other runs, but I might be willing to give this Guan Yu a shot here. On the assumption that we're not going to last very long. Redeeming this so my number of points is even. Those, those fives at the end of it. Brutal. Let's give this a quick shot. And we do, of course, have Pact of Punishment here. Looks like Father's changed the terms of our relationship. And we do have a reward for turning up the heat. Now, I had that on there for a long time, and we hadn't yet beaten Hades, so it wasn't even an option to use it, but now it is. So if you'd like, we can make things even more difficult and make it even more likely for us to die often and do multiple runs in a given stream. Fire has been bugging you for like a week. Okay, so let me know if you guys want to do a uh, any heat here. But otherwise, I kind of just want to test this out real quick and see what it's like. Give you a little little bonus, little bonus tonight. Damage control. Which one is that? Each rank gives all foes. That makes them ignore an instance of damage. Okay. It's gonna be tough. Let's give it a shot. Riches of the underworld. I think if we make it through Tartarus, that is a wild success. See that for Rafa? Hammer upgrade's not bad. It's a good way to start, I would think. Pack has more range and deals more damage to distant foes. Special deals a bunch of extra damage to armor. Spin attack deals extra damage and hits in a larger area. I think that's got to be a strong option for Guan Yu, right? Where spin is the bread and butter. Got to be massive. Oh, we'll remove it with one tick of the spear, so it might actually there be we go. fairly easy. That is not how we do that. That is. Okay. First room down, we're not dead yet. Strong start. Okay. The damage is quite good, it seems. Just the range which is a little bit bigger. It's been attacked. Okay. Get some quick keys. And Artemis. Aries? We haven't seen Aries at all today. Aries? 68 rooms left. Alright. No, we're definitely not making it all the way. I probably wouldn't have agreed to, to go for another one if I thought that we would. So otherwise, it'll be very late. Let Aqua decide. Okay, full blender mode. Full blender mode it is. Not enough range. That's 226 damage? That's absurd. Beginning of Tartarus? It's amazing. The damage is great. We have the ability to heal life, but obviously we are quite frail. So even these little guys pose a bit of a threat to us. We do have some extra nectar now, so we were saving one for Patroclus. Get who else? There's one more uh keepsake that we don't yet have. So theoretically we could go a little more aggressive on the uh the gifting of nectars. Oh, and Meg is the other one. Oh, we might have been able to gift to Meg. 
She's another one that you don't always have the option to do that. Aqua Saint Juice. Hmm? Aqua? Lord Ares, please accept this token of my deep appreciation for your generous support. An offering? For me? Indeed. How gracious that you keep me in your thoughts. Know that likewise I keep you in mine. Okay. Ares likes us a little bit more. Take his spoon. Oh, my kin. I sensed fresh blood. I got you. I got you. The real kind. For you have slain the living near the surface, have you not? Mere vermin, yes, but good enough for me. Okay. So we can have our normal attack inflict doom. Yeah, what is the best option to put on the Wan Yu spin? I feel like you want something a little faster than Doom? I'm not sure that uh, an Ares attack is the best way to go, but I don't know. Special Doom? Dash? Blade Rift? Isn't supposed to be a good run anyway. Blade dash. Let's go for the maximum blender. Okay. Looks like it is just super nectar. The one that we just gave up. Might be about to get it back. That make it. It will not. Is nice when you know where your enemy is going to be in advance and you can charge it up. Eh, eh. Chaos! Oh god. Chaos on Guan Yu? I don't even know what that's going to end up being. What happens? <laughs> when you even go in, <laughs> you just die as soon as you go in. You don't have enough life. Of nectar. Okay, well, we'll get a blade dash upgrade. Amazing. Do we have coin room or we have chaos? Well, <laughs> I don't know. How much damage does it do? 21? More than half of our HP. Ares dash, Ares call, go on you. Yeah, it's a lot of blades. You can stack multiple Doom. I thought Doom doesn't stack. But yeah. <laughs> Not supposed to be a good run anyways, so... Might as well. Try this. We might as well. See what happens. Let's see. Okay, what do we have? Bows drop Inferno Bombs, but afterward our Dash Strike deals damage. Don't gain coins, but afterward gain some darkness. It might be a, a nice way to get something out of this run from a resource standpoint. We take increased damage, but afterwards we gain max life. Uh, <laughs> some pretty serious short-term risks. Probably the best long-term game. Of course, 33 is going to end up being a lot less than that by the time you subtract the amount that we lose from using Guan Yu. Excruciating Soul. There is a boon that allows you to stack. Okay, yeah. That sounds vaguely familiar, but you do need that in order for it to work. Yeah, if you do get that, I can see it being amazing. Here we go. This is gonna hurt. Ease. Darkness. 
Gems. Darkness will heal us. Actually, a, a pretty significant percentage. We can heal with this attack. <laughs> Might be our, our quickest way, actually. Gems, we've been eyeing those. We are quite close to being able to afford the plunder. It's an all-in run. <laughs> It really is. Does that mean gems? Yeah, probably means gems, right? Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we did get a bit of life back. Almost at full here. Those explosions, I don't remember how much damage they do. It's probably pretty significant. Good night. I took some risks there. Going into those attacks, assuming that we would be quick enough to destroy the projectiles, but that is uh, not the safest bet. There we go. Back up to max HP. Got some gems. Demeter, we also did not see her last run. That I could see being interesting. The Guan Yu attack. Slowing enemies down when you hit them. Making it so that they don't catch up to you. And manage to hit you. With an attack while you are trying to hit them with the spins. Lady Demeter. Okay. So we could gift to Demeter as well. That just yet. I'm in bed. Aqua <laughs> runs the show now. No worries, Mega. Yeah, aren't you? I think you're an hour ahead of me. But it's quite late for you, isn't it? No juice only boom? Okay. Someday, my little sprout, you'll gain the surface of your father's realm and see my handiwork. That we have, Until though. such time. I'll come to your aid as I can. It's quite the entertaining pastime, honestly. Okay, so this is what I was saying, was I could see this potentially being a nice combo. Getting the chill. Special damage. Oh, we have no bloodstones. Take less damage, that might be useful with Guan Yu as well. And deal more damage? 1 a.m. for you. Yeah, yeah, so you're an hour enemy. Okay, Ravenous Will, it is then? I see. Oh, fishing spot. Someone. Up here. Let's give it a shot. Looks in the river sticks. There we go. Oh, I. I got that before. Maybe once before. I think that's a pretty good one. So again, we're getting something out of this run at least. We could purchase anything here. We do have enough coins for one such purchase. Gems, full blown shop, options there. Brain of Atlas and gems. Cast. All right, we haven't really been using the cast, but sure. And what a fight! There's gonna be a lot of these guys, isn't it? You can see. Oh, they did it. One of them, at least. Oh, the curse of chaos careful. has expired. All right, and now we no longer take extra damage, and we're up above. Do you imagine that? And we take less damage. We're actually a tank build. All right, no choice but to go to Athena, who does have some defensive boons as well. You know, there might be a chance. Let's go, lads. Oh, 
moved on me at the wrong time. These guys, I think, are going to be quite tough with our setup. We are probably too slow to do what we want to do. And they deal a lot of damage. Oh, and he moved on me. You aren't supposed to move on me. Although that was actually a really good place for the uh, dash, of all things. Deal some damage. Sizable amount. There you go. Ooh, it's Holman. Having no blood zones is important. Right. Okay. Forgot about that. Okay. So, do we gift to Athena? Do we not? Let's take that. Coin earn. Don't mind if I do. Just boom. My warlike brother Ares reached you, didn't he? I've always found his conduct quite disturbing. At least it seems he's helping you for now. She's kind of also a goddess of war to a certain extent. Not, like, the goddess of war, obviously. She has some affiliation with war, too. It's a little bit... A little bit odd to hear from her. Is this damage from traps? I mean... Can we have this little HP? Might be helpful. A little odd... Deflecting almost as much damage as we can take. But it is a scroll. Divine protection. So we'll take it. More Demeter? Or a palm? Athena plus Ares equals Doom combo. Mm, okay. Demeter? Oh, Let's we clear. don't really need it, but okay. In the name of Hades, Demeter's aid. Get the frost attack. Get the frost special. Strike. Okay. I think that'll be very nice. We'll restore twenty HP that, that we can't thing. really restore. And we have mini boss gems, or we have mini boss darkness. Yeah, I think we're gonna like that that spin attack now. Gems, okay. These guys are gonna be nasty. Fortunately, we do have a pretty sizable amount of damage, but it is hard to not take any damage from them. Especially when there are this many of them. Look what I found. So I still don't think we've gotten hit once. Picking up some gems along the way. Getting close. Sisyphus. That is true. We would definitely take less damage if I used my cast, but it doesn't matter. Just don't get hit. Hey, sir. Does not matter. If I may be so bold, Your Highness, I was wondering what brings you back around this way again. Same story as last it's time. It's actually been a really long time since we last saw Sisyphus. Look, I have to level with you, Sisyphus. I'm leaving the house. I've had quite enough. You understand, I'm sure. I'm going to the surface. Whew, that is quite an undertaking, Prince. If it wasn't you yourself proposing it, I'd like to call it madness, truth be told. Though, you're just mad enough to pull it off. Well, hey, I hope you make it. Good fortune out there. Thanks, man. Okay, so we can go healing. We're on full HP. Darkness. For the sake of just getting darkness, because again, we're on full HP. Get some coins. We're only on 87.
mm, whatever. Not a strong opinion. I think the spear was the plus 20% darkness bonus. Yeah, and the run is junk. Darkness no worries, has the most so long term cheers, benefits. Oh, and this is the last room before the boss of Tartarus. We have the possibility of getting more darkness. Can't afford, well, we can afford the, the life, but that does nothing. Can't afford Hermes, unfortunately. Get more darkness. Okay. Thank you, mate. It actually amounted to a somewhat significant amount. Okay, now this is the real test. First major boss we're going up against with Guan Yu. I don't know. We'll see. Use the cast early. Hmm. Like that? Is that what you mean? Or dash and then do it? I think I'm feeling the Lecto as well. We had Meg last time. I think it's been the longest since we last had a Lecto. So we'll see. Got a feeling it's Tisiphone this time. Oh, it's Meg again. Oh well. This might be our chance then. What are you doing, Zagreus? The underworld is sealed off. What you're attempting is impossible. We did it last time, though. You've seen what happens when you go too far. Oh, nice. uh, okay. Maybe you're right. Maybe you are actually referencing the fact that we went through all the way and that it didn't really work. This place can't stay sealed shut forever, Meg. In the meantime, I thought I'd get some practice in, you know? I'm not your practice partner. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, yep, that hurt. Also, we could do this early and often. Ooh, nor do we want to be standing there. Normally, you know, you might not think too much of those. They are significant. Given how little damage we should be taking. And that was enough to be significant that we shouldn't have done that. Remember, we can get life even from attacking these guys. That's not the worst thing either. Oh dear. Okay, got a few hits in there. I think. Only getting one light whenever we hit Meg, it seems. A little disappointing. A little greedy there. I will admit. Ooh, I did let that hit me. And that. Okay, that was not a good way to follow that up. What was that? Nope. Oh, you pick those up. Those. I think I picked one up. I did. Some of our life back. We're definitely not full. Ooh, got hit by something there. I'm actually not even sure what it was. Okay, now that's the, the phase that we definitely don't like. Get rid of that. Likewise here. Get this away, please. I don't want that. Keep far distance during this phase. That was unfortunate. Who's next? You, Meg. Of course. 
Not bad. Definitely different, but not bad. Yes. And it does give us Titan Blood. Shut it just now. Is pretty sweet. What does that bring us to? You? Two Titan Blood? We need three to upgrade Guan Yu. We're not there yet. Oh, the spin actually eats her bullet span. That is true. Should. Able to continue. Well, oh, Father, I'm, I'm trespassing through your secret hall and going out. Not supposed to be able to access that. Oh, I guess only these. You're not supposed to be able to access. So you take that. So it does bring us up to full HP. We made it through Tartarus. Like I said, I didn't expect we'd make it that far, but yeah, definitely makes this a success in my book. We ensure an infernal trove. Get some life regeneration. Attack damage. We could sell basically any of the boons that we have. Excuse me. Yeah, it's already a pretty decent run for level one Guan Yu. Sweet. Can we afford both of those things? We can, just barely. Okay. Don't need the life. Just Going yet. Good. Oh, well, we a little late for that, but we could consider it in the next one if we do make it to another boom selling opportunity. Maybe get a little more darkness for the road while we're at it. Astrodel is going to be tricky, though. Enemies are certainly more difficult, and uh, we do still have the challenge comes from playing this style of build. Just dump those while we're at it. Another mini shop. Doubt we actually get anybody with that. Who's up? Uh, I don't know, but you can charge that up. And it basically has infinite range. So, don't mess around with them that much. Don't think that's gonna hit you. Nope. Where'd you go? Don't want that. But I would like to hit you. Okay. Made it at least a little bit through Asphodel. <laughs> Small shop. Could ensure another Infernal Trove if we really wanted to. There should be one in here somewhere. I didn't really take note of where it was. Over here. Gems! Yeah, we could have had increased attack damage if we sold it. Of course, you gotta do it for the gems. You're right. Let's dump that. Let's do this. And let's charge this. Come forth, wretches, and stop this meddler. Time to I saw that one coming. One down. Two down. Where's the last one? Somewhere over here. Just want to hit you any way we can. Speed. That's quite good enough. enough. That's gonna be enough. Thank you, Father. I think it is. Never enough of these back at the house. It is. We're over 300 at this point. If we wanted to, we could get another one. <laughs> Now we have max life, we have coins. So, what do we think? How necessary is it to get the life with Guan Yu? Heart for sure? Okay. Bad timing there. 
those guys probably would have killed us right then and there. I think it is for that. Three of them all exploding on us simultaneously. Don't think we would have lasted very long. Also, don't want to be stepping in the lava. A great way for us to take a lot of damage. Although, fortunately, you can heal back small amounts like that fairly easily. Gives us eight. Good for the health. It's uh, not a lot, and unfortunately, 125 life. It's more than twice the amount of life that we have right now, but doesn't do us any good at the moment. Our next room is Darkness Room. So, a bit of an unfortunate series of events there. Purchasing the trove, but then not getting one that does anything for us. Yeah, no trove then. Get me out of here. Oh, and it's something in this. This will be strange. Remember, not a word of this to anyone. Let's go. I'll handle this. Cut it under control, thanks. Okay. Um, I kind of need you guys to be right next to me now. Ah, uh, no, I can't do that one. I'll show you some This doesn't look good for us, though. A little alarming. Would be amazing to get the extra life, of course, but that's gonna be far, far easier said than done. I do like the way all those guys are lining up. We beat him. I'll write this one off. Somehow. Nice. Somehow. I'll give you that. This one's only seven. Should be clear. Previous one was eight. Oh, much better. It's in. Any lucky troves this time around? I don't think so. Mini shop. Piece of sticks that we don't need. We could get some darkness. If we're just looking to get darkness whenever we can. Otherwise. Full blown shop. Mini boss Aphrodite. Darkness plus Aphrodite? Okay. Darkness? I'll take it. Sure. Let's see if it's Barge. Barge, I feel like we could do a decent job of. Okay, it is. Even now, it's a relatively right small area. So we can hit most of the enemies with this. I would think there is also golden urn there. Priorities though. This first. Ooh, not a lot of room for us to not get blasted in the face though. This is also very nice when they're hanging out in the corner. And boom? Okay. Lady Aphrodite, I'm afraid there really isn't much here worthy of you, but perhaps this can suffice. My, but if this isn't such a treasure to behold, and I accept it as a sign of your affection, of something even more, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we'll take the boom. You've met Athena 
dearest, so you know not all the ladies on Olympus are alike. And I, for one, am grateful to our forebears for that. Ooh. Taking shots at Athena. Ooh. Nice. Ass. It is extremely short range. Which has, uh... <laughs> Done some not so great things for me in the past. When I forgot about that, but revenge damage, blasting foes. Can we take one out? Wave of despair, you think? Maybe that's the way to go. Okay, we can do that. Love and loss. Hopefully, we're not getting hit very often. Otherwise, we're gonna die pretty darn quickly, but... I mean, it is still a lot of damage. Certainly compared to the amount of life that we have, it's a lot of damage. But yes. Confirm. This does destroy the projectiles, which is probably our best form of defense against them. Otherwise, they're gonna be a, a little bit much for us. One down. Hmm. Three down, actually, now. That was a little risky, because I dashed before the projectiles, potentially before we were able to destroy them. Ooh, and that time I, I was standing right next to them. Didn't have the opportunity to break them in advance. I also did not see what all the enemies for this round are. Okay, you're gone. Another one of you. Other round. Must be the last of them. Surely it's the last of them, right? Just too many. Not where I want to stand. There's a lot of you. That was also a risky place to dash. I'm amazed we didn't get hit by that explosive. There's chaos in here as well. Oh dear. Well, there's the last of them. There's darkness. Is there anything else in here? There's chaos down there. Mini shop. What's for sale? Oh yes, I forgot to um Ravenous Will, the one where we throw our casts. I definitely forgot about that, at least for this this most recent room and probably the last few. I guarantee we get even more chaos gates and stack a few on top of each other, perhaps. Otherwise, there's Hermes, Palm, there's Trial, and there's Chaos. There's a lot of options here. Trial, you think, rather than Chaos? Okay. It'll be tough. It'll be very tough. But I suppose it's worth a shot. They're making me choose. So who do we choose first? Oh, come on. Get some shiny. Get some gold while we're at it. I remember that Demeter, when she's mad at you, makes the big ice storms. I don't remember what Athena does. Take Athena first. Yeah, I feel like Demeter, you can see that coming pretty easily. And this is a pretty large area as well large room so I think it's gonna be easier to avoid Demeter getting mad at us I thank you cousin not so much deadly as much as it's annoying yeah so that seems like something we would really want albeit ideally with higher rarity given how we have such low life so is that worth it or should we wait Venus aid similarly becoming impervious Special we haven't really been using because we're focusing so much on just using the Guan Yu spin attack. Yeah, 5% is, especially when you're talking about having, what, 66 life? 5% is almost nothing, but like 2 life. So maybe if we were to get a higher rarity version, it might start to be a little more significant, but at the moment, yeah, it uh, doesn't seem that impressive. Two life is... that is still... it's something. 
at this stage. That is true. Eight of bronze skin, my call. Um. I feel like bronze skin might be a little bit better. If we're going between these two, just because it's passive. And we're already doing weird stuff with Guan Yu. So I feel like we should maybe make this easy on my brain. If we can. This power. A harsh winter is coming for you, Zachary. And I'm afraid you've brought it on yourself. Yeah, I just mean that, you know, if we take more than 66 damage, then we're dead. So over the course of 66 damage, it'll amount to about two, possibly three damage reduced. Then again, we are healing as well. She's angry now. So I suppose it's almost like we have more life than that. Okay, there's, there's the circle we're supposed to avoid. Yeah, you guys just a little more standing still. Ugh, not that. That would be ideal. And we should throw this. Ooh, I started walking toward that. It was a dangerous thing to do. Dump that. You. I walk straight in. Get some life back, shall we? Do you stuff? Where'd you come from? And oh dear. Yeah, we're getting hit now, sure. Get that out of here. Okay, do sit down, I think. I don't want that. And I don't want you. You. You gotta go. You still have armor. Wow. Such as that might teach you more of how this world works. Okay, ooh. Oh, all those are chill afflicted. They're 10% slower and take decay damage. I haven't taken that one yet. We really haven't been using our special at all, because again, we're using the Guan Yu spin. Cast, we're, we're doing it just to get rid of it. <laughs> Because we have the uh, additional damage and take less damage when we don't have any bloodstones. Let's roll. Okay. That beats the heat. Take the scroll then. Which path? We have shop with 150 coins exactly. Palm. Anything else? Or will that be it? I think that's it. Yeah. Shop or palm? Chamber number 22. So I don't know exactly how many there are in Asphodel, but we're definitely not about to go to the boss, I don't think. I think we still have a few more. Could get a boon with 150. Which might be helpful. Can't afford a hammer upgrade, so that shows up. It's no use. Life restoration, not gonna be any good for us. We're on full life. Max life, that'd be helpful. Palm, do something. Darkness, a little bit helpful, but not really a near term thing. Heart would be best to give it a shot. Okay, let's we'll see what we get. Open for a heart. Is this actually the last one? I guess this is the last one. I take it back. Apparently, I have no idea how many rooms there are in Asphodel. And so, no heart. There is an Athena boon. There is a palm. It's life restoration, but that doesn't do us any good. Athena! 
Okay. Let's give it a go then. It feels unseemly to make contact from that most unpleasant boatman's stash of ill-gotten wares. Nonetheless, this was an opportunity. Okay. So we could get Athena's aid, which was something we were thinking about before, but when you deflect, it deals more damage. It is a scroll, but at the same time, it's uh, pretty bad. I also don't think we have any deflect at the moment, if I remember correctly. So I think it quite literally does nothing. We would be getting it only for the scroll. The revenge boom? <laughs> Does that deflect? Is that what it is? Mm. I don't know. You're right, but at the same time, is that worthwhile? Athena's aid does give us some imperviousness and further reflect. Cast, again, we're mostly just doing it to get rid of the bloodstones. I think this is actually prerequisite for her legendary and quite rare. So it might actually be worth it. Yeah, it'd be great if we got the Athena dash, of course. That's the best of the deflects, usually. The walkway is thinking repose is still the way to go. Mega was saying he is, uh, He's starting to fall asleep, so we should just side with, with Aqua for the most part, so unless anyone objects, and we deliberately try to target more Athena. Okay. That's assuming we make it through this boss, which is uh, assuming a lot, but maybe, maybe. Athena's power. So we'll see what we can do. Here goes nothing, and I do mean nothing. You touch me, and I shall have your head. That does deal a ton of damage. If it is a uh, spin attack, is a good thing to have against the Hydra. He's pretty stationary. We can set it up once, and then dash out of the way. Is ooh, nice luxury to have. Ooh, got hit by that. Get some life back. You can. Now one the heads down. Ooh, get some damage there as well. More heads down though. I do you see those projectiles coming? Let's yeah, yeah, get rid of these. We've got to get rid of those. We've done that earlier. This is gonna hurt. Once you do ultimately shoot your bazillion projectiles. It'd be great if we could have one of these hit you while you're doing that. And already, the next phase, wow. We take some damage there, but yeah, getting some ooh, damage there as well. Yikes. It adds up quickly. Heal pretty quickly too, though, fortunately. I would like to ooh, get rid of those. But also get rid of the casting head, ideally. That would be my top priority, although getting rid of any head, I suppose, is not bad either. Mostly say that because it has so much rain. You can have it off screen like this. It's still gonna hit you. In all likelihood. And of course, I say that and then it ends up being one of the last ones that I take down. Well, I wasn't sure if that was gonna hit us, quite honestly. I was not sure.
Not quite done yet. Now it is. It's a normal head here. Didn't want that. Or that. Okay. Just the main Hydra head. Somehow, didn't quite get hit there. Look at that damage. It is huge. And Guanyu's spin does destroy the projectiles very quickly, very easily. So, you know what? Hydra? Not bad at all. Enjoy your magma bath. So, I'll take the diamond. Don't mind if I do, in fact. I trust you had a pleasant stay in Asphodel. Oh, very much. You're with the on-screen keyboard. Hmm? Okay. Oh, so you can't click. Is that what you're doing? I don't know. These on-screen keyboards of which you speak. We could dump bronze skin if we thought that it was truly junk. Or... Killing Freeze, if we thought that that was truly junk. We have five coins at the moment. Brawn skin is not very good. It might be worth dumping it. More gold would be nice. Worth 40 gold? I think more gold is better than bronze skin. Maybe. Okay. So we can do that if you'd like. There goes that and one. killing freeze. Is that also of interest? That seems like another one that we weren't thrilled about. But maybe we can hold on to it. Not sure about that one? Okay. So we can hold on to it, if you'd like. Seems fine. Okay. I don't know how often we're inflicting every throw chill, but on occasion, it'll happen. And... Nice and cool up here. Who would have thought? Somehow, first one you run, we made it up to Elysium. I wouldn't have believed you. You told me that. And as Mega was saying, oftentimes you find yourself the hammer upgrade as one of the first rubies in Elysium. Don't sell Killing Freeze. We didn't. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, Mega. First run ever with the rail went to Elysium? Nice. I don't remember. I've only done one rail run ever, I think. I don't remember how far it went. Also, first run to beat Meg? Nice. So what do we want? Do we want the, the coins? Because we were starting to stockpile some of them, for sure. We're only on 45, so it's not a lot, but does get us closer to the point where we could get something meaningful from a shop. We're not there yet. But hammer is good, no question. So Aqua says hammer. We can certainly do that. Okay. Now, enemies are gonna get a lot tougher. So, that's a concern. Sure. Even these guys having the extra, you know, not taking damage on the first hit, little eyeballs, that's going to be tough too. It just takes a little bit longer to take them out, and that is sometimes the difference between them respawning and them not respawning. Boom, got hit there. A little sloppy. Please don't do that. Okay. 
but we ended up with full HP, so we can still regenerate some life. Attack has more range. Ooh, does that include the spin going further? It deals more damage to distant foes? That could be quite good. Spin attack charges up and recovers much faster. Also sounds very good. Quick spin, you think, is better? I don't know if this applies to the spin as well. It might not. Two votes hammer, especially if we get something for the spin, and then we get certainly one, maybe two, for the spin. Absolutely quick spin. Okay. Let's go, Rafa. Yeah. That could be a pretty big boost. What's that sound? Yeah. That's like a clock winding. Like right here. This door for some reason. I don't know, but life could be useful. Hermes could potentially give us more speed. Don't think it's extending jabs works anyway. Okay, yeah, there is. You guys hear that? That mechanical sound? You hear it here. Go further away. Goes away. I don't know what that's about. Fast, but hard. Think hard is still the way to go? I know it's tough. They're both good. We'd like to have both. And hard is guaranteed. We know we're going to get max life. Whereas Hermes, there's no way of being 100% certain that he's going to give us the type of speed that we want. Yes, heart. Okay. don't like that we are kind of cornered here. Fortunately, I got rid of one of these guys. I think I want to take this guy next. I was going to say, if you don't pay any attention to us at all, that is probably fine. Stay dead. If you want to get hit by that arrow, that would also be nice. Killing you helps as well. Since your whole thing is you chase us down, I'm slowing you down. Makes that a little less intimidating. Uh oh, he is a butterfly dude. Okay, fortunately, Guan Yu absolutely shreds butterflies. But I assume, I suppose, we probably should have assumed. But, that being said, if the butterflies do hit us, we would have been in a lot of trouble. That could have added up pretty quickly. Gets us up to 75 life. Pong, chop, we're on just over a hundred, hold on, just over a hundred life, or a hundred coins I should say, wish we were over a hundred life. I suppose a bit of a Freudian slip, because I was thinking, well, that means we can't quite afford life, we could afford a palm, we could just get a palm, go through some enemies in order to get it, it is free in that case though. Oh, cast. I did forget about the cast there. That is true. We'll start to heal by two soon. Oh, is it a percentage? One heal percentage of our max life? Is that the way it works? And Frostbear Blade. The attack is close to life stealing spin. Is that life stealing spin like 2% of our max life or something? It seems we're, we're all in on Palm. Try not to be hit by this guy. He does have some range. I do want to make sure that we get so that he doesn't come back. I did pick up those bloodstones. Let's dump them quickly. Get out of here. For a second, I just didn't even see his weapon. I was like, are you running around without any type of weapon? You're about to punch us? The way this works all of a sudden? 
Please blow up on me. Awesome. We have bloodstones. Who's left? What? Oh, did, did he just respawn? He just respawned, did he? I think I totally lost track of him and forgot that he was turning into an eyeball. I think that might be what happened. So, yeah, probably another wave now. Ooh, I don't like the shield, guys. Hoping one you can shred through the shields fairly easily. Regardless of which direction they're facing. Don't come back. Don't you dare come back. Not bad. A palm of power. Good enough to eat. Palm can give us revenge damage. Black damage. Additional revenge damage. Uh Don't know the exact percentage, but something like that. Might be dealt based on damage dealt. Spare, you think, might be better? Because it also does inflict weak. That is nice. Forgot about that part. That is a lot of extra damage on the revenge. I still, you know, we shouldn't be taking damage to begin with. Because we are, we need to play very safe with our low life. But okay, we can go that route. You honor me. Another max life option. Aphrodite mini boss. Mini shop. Something I can use. Get Yarn of Ariadne. Increase the rarity of the next boon. I haven't I don't think we've seen any of those today. Attack damage. Not bad. Because now we are very attack centric at the moment. Life restoration does not do anything. Those are the choices. I will see if there's anything else in the meantime. Yeah. That looks like it. Yarn and jerky. Take them both. Can we afford them both? Yes. Shouldn't take damage, but if we do, it is still a lot. Okay, so then we do go for Aphrodite. It'd be a risk, because we might find ourselves up against a quite powerful enemy. But we do have the guaranteed rarity. Granted, whenever that next boon happens, we'll have the guaranteed rarity, so it doesn't necessarily have to be on a mini boss. Life is not bad. Juan Yu is too good. Get more life. Give me a range. Ooh. Don't like the range. Speaking of range. Oops, hold on. Please don't come back. Any of you. I'll run you through. Who's left? You. Ooh. We got our bloodstones back. Somewhere in that process. guys usually do not see them by themselves but when they are not that bad okay so up to 81 there's a trove for life restoration we don't need it again the trove would restore more than our maximum amount of life which is odd okay so there's that there's a mini boss demeter there's palm so that's the primary choice I don't think there's anything else. So what do we think here? Is it worth taking the risk for Demeter? Will be increased rarity, but could be Volaminos, could be the... Super Butterfly. Palm, definitely not as much of an upgrade, but it's safer. And no Trove, because do anything? Okay. A Demeter. Okay. Let's see which one it is. It is the Minotaur. You are more skilled than I expected, short one. 
dispatch is most certainly in order. I'm hoping that he is slow slash stationary enough that we'll be able to get the the spin to hit him many times. In You're going to force succession. a rematch each so, time we'll I manage to defeat you, aren't you? <laughs> we and our victories are all impermanent here in Elysium. We live such as it is for moments such as these. Well then, bring it on. He does, I assume, deal a lot of damage. So that does make him dangerous. Because it won't take him many hits to take us down if we mess up. Especially when he has combos. Where he swings his axe and then leaps at us. We are dealing a lot of damage, so that is good. He is probably one of the more dangerous people we will find ourselves going up against. And I probably don't want to be doing the charge up the spin attack and dash in his direction too often. For that reason, you know, that's probably something that I'd rather not get ourselves into doing. Ooh, we could hit there. This first one we got hit. Did be a lot, but we can get some back. And damage is great. We still take the damage. Who's the short one now, huh? So that's an instance where the damage when we chill everyone in the room. I mean, it's easy to do that when there's one enemy in the room. So I don't know, that might have actually proved to be a pretty significant portion of our damage there. Spin, I think, was definitely very good as well. What's up, Peach? <laughs> this is our first... So, this is our second run of the night, Peach. And actually, well... I don't know, do we, do we tell Peach what she missed? Is this really the first chamber we've had where we didn't finish on full life? No worries, Peach. So we... This is our second run. I don't know if we should say what happened in the previous run. Or if we want to perhaps save the VOD or something like that for Peach to see firsthand what happened. Yeah, maybe we start off with that. Peach, would you like for us to, to save spoilers? Or... We allow you to see exactly how we got here via the VOD. Because stuff happened. That much is for sure. Stuff definitely happened. But I'm glad you were able to, to make it. <laughs> I already know everything. It turns out he's good at this weapon and it's nonsense. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seems we have found perhaps my weapon of choice. Now, what is this nonsense you talk about, Aqua? What do you mean? This is supposed to be one of the most difficult weapons to use. Nah. Okay, well, for this run, yes, so it's more so what happened in the previous run, so. Yeah, not so much plot spoilers or anything like that, as much as if you feel like you would like to see for yourself what happened in the previous run, or the beginning of this run, then we can refrain from disclosing that information, but if you'd like for us to get you up to speed, then we can do that now. I want to know. Okay, so previous run, we were using the... what was it? We did the Poseidon Aspect Sword... We had the Artemis cast and Poseidon special, and both normal rarity, so pretty simple in terms of the boons that we got on that run. Nothing crazy. Picked up a lot of max life, but we made it through, and we took down Hades for the first time on Twitch, at least. First time on this save file. So we have now beaten Hades on this file. 
And then we figured, ah, you know, it's getting late, but we do now have enough Titan blood to unlock Guan Yu. And Guan Yu is supposed to be really difficult, so, you know, I was intrigued. Maybe let's give it a quick shot and see what happens on the assumption that we're probably going to die halfway through Tartarus, and that'll be that, and we'll call it a night. And now we're most of the way through Elysium, and this is the first room in which we have apparently finished without maximum life. <laughs> so, things went a little differently than I thought they were going to go, but here we are. The boon list does look a little bit empty, but we have some really nice Daedalus Hammer upgrades. We have Quick Spin, which is amazing for Guan Yu, and extra damage and larger AoE on the spin, also amazing for Guan Yu. And we picked up a fair bit of life. Lots and lots of Centaur Hearts. I have lost track at this point, and we did get this Chaos Boon as well. Some revenge damage. The chill from uh from inflicting well from inflicting chill on everyone, we make them slower and take the decay damage. So that's what I was just talking about with the Minotaur, that being easy to do when there's only one enemy in here. And then Ravenous Will is what Aqua's been nagging me about. I'm trying to make sure that I remember to actually cast, because we're so focused on using the fully charged Guan Yu spin attack that I'm not really doing or thinking much about using our casts offensively, but it is important for us to get rid of them quickly so that we can gain damage and gain defenses as well. So it is appreciated, Aqua. Right, so when I remember, it usually means casting everything at the very beginning and then going on and ignoring those bloodstones for the rest of the encounter in the name of Hades so I've done it a few times whoa that's a lot of rare oh we did have yarn of Ariadne that's right all life effects all healing effects are more potent that's interesting on Guan Yu uh does that include does that include the life leech from Guan Yu is this actually amazing? Does this count? I mean, 35% of one is still less than one. So it might do... Even if it does still apply, it might not be a high enough number to make any difference. Doesn't include it? Darn. So in that case, Aqua saying Crystal Beam or... Or nurse soul, or maybe nurse soul. Will nurse soul help us not die? Because I don't know. I feel like basically all of our healing is coming from Guan Yu. So if it doesn't apply to Guan Yu, I feel like it's not going to do much for us. Maybe, maybe on occasion, we'll actually need to get some life restored from those life restoration things. But I feel like it's. It's boom or bust. We're either dead, or we've healed to full life using Guan Yu. <laughs> I'm not sure there's an in-between. As we were saying before, this is apparently the only chamber where we have not finished on full life. Aaron cross fingers. Actually, do we have any boons that are not normal rarity? Besides rare crop? I feel like the downside of rare crop might be non-existent. I don't know if we have anything above normal rarity right now. Cast will stay close to us and we don't really want that. Oh. Okay. So I, I feel like rare crop might be a good option then. You guys agree? Aqua saying rare crop? He's been converted. Peach says yes? Okay, let's give it a shot. Ugh, that's brisk. I don't think any of those were 
lower than normal rarity. I think there was no downside to that. Other than the opportunity cost of not taking any of the other bones, but we're fine. So normally I'm not a fan of shields, guys, but I do think that Guan Yu being able to ooh, blast right through them like that is very helpful. Don't forget, destroy the eyes as well. We are almost up to full HP now. Says you're blocking it, you're taking damage. Who are you kidding? Not me. Okay, one down. Let's take the biggest guy out before he gets any big ideas. You as well. No! No! Darn it. I was not in a good place to take you out, focusing on the other guy, but no big deal. Just an opportunity to get more life back if we needed any. Not sure we did. Like to get rid of one of you guys. Ooh, that was me sticking around longer than we had to. You should be able to go soon. There we go. There we go. Full life. Saved some for everyone. Not bad. Get some gems while we're at it. Oh, and Peach, we did also. I believe you were the one who requested that we buy the greater plunder, or whatever the last grove upgrade is, we are now above 300 gems. So that is possible now. Saw Killing Freeze, which one was that? So we have a lot of hammer upgrades as well, and that also means that those are getting lowered. Uh, Ravenous Will, did that just get Rated. That was rare to begin with. I think that was one that went down in rarity. I don't know that anything else was. Which one did you want to check? The only thing that is not normal right now is Ravenous Will. says in rare crop what it did. Let's see. Cultivating holy shield, brilliant post killing freeze. Holy shield is what the revenge somewhere. And this what is it doing when we click on it? I don't even know. The deflect damage and killing freeze. Okay, maybe not the best three. But we'll see. Hero killing freeze is not bad? Okay. Hopefully we get there. So we have coins, we have max life as our two options. We have just over 100 coins at the moment. So we could potentially purchase a palm at the next shop. We've been doing a lot of little purchases at the wells, which, I mean, it's been working, seemingly. Activate the trope? I didn't even see there's a trope. What? Where? Eh? Oh, and you said health. Okay. I don't think there's a trope in here, but hey. Next time we run into a trove, clearly, we can do it. So life it is. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently we are going up against Santa Claus. Uh, I immediately hate this room. I am thinking we will probably die once again. There are way too many archers. And it is hard to fight those guys without taking any damage. And this concerns me. Get rid of one of them. Ooh, that's a lot of targets on our head right now. Okay, hold on. Second wave. 
you guys are mm, mini bosses technically, and you did hit me twice there. Not good. There are more archers as well. Let's see. Oh, you're the archer. That's why. Does Guan you need to be fully charged in order to heal? It isn't healing every single time. I don't know why that is necessarily. Not like every single time it hits somebody to get life back. Don't like that. Let's get out of here. Butterfly dude. He'll probably not be standing right next to you. At the same time, we do need to make sure you don't do that. Blah. Well, at the very least, it is an opportunity to get more life back and ideally pick you out for good this time. Okay. Yeah, we finished on full life, so can't really complain. Just took a little longer is all. Up to 89. No trove, unfortunately. Patroclus? Or Hermes? Oh, and I forgot the cast in that room as well. You're right. You're right. I'll probably die in this chamber. Finishes with full life and doesn't lose any death defiances. Wan Yu's good. We don't need the death defiances to come back from Patroclus, so that means we either have healing, which... Up to now, we haven't really needed, or that would leave attack. This <laughs> way, so we're gonna finish the run with full help. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. But it might be an opportunity to finally give Patroclus some juice. We've been waiting a very, very long time for him to finally accept it. He's just thinking, do that and get the jerky as well. Let's see if he finally accepts us. Not at the moment, at least. But I think the answer is no. It's so hard to get. Go hoard some other corner of this realm. This one is mine. Okay, so jerky, we're saying. 60% attack damage. Guan Yu is already dealing a ton of damage. Imagine, 60% more. I think Achilles was not in the house last time. But we've been talking to him every time we can. What? What is that, Aqua? Is that a quote from actually from something? I don't think I ever said that. I don't think I heard Zagreus say that. <laughs> Alright, but we were saying jerky, because we don't need to replenish any death defiances, and we're at full light. Unless we want to preemptively use Hydra Light, it would seem jerky is the way to go. Praise just came out of my brain. Okay. I think that's an anagram for jerky, so sure. Take that. Oh, I heard fishing spot, which is apparently directly on top of Troclus. Here goes nothing. It is hard to see this one. There it is, though. It's a bite. It's a, it's a not so rare one, but it's something. Like I said, though, I think it's lucky that we got anything, given how it is uh, rather obscure from that point of view. Could go shop and potentially get a boom or a life upgrade. We could go in here and get our own life upgrade. At this point, we're potentially getting close to the end of Elysium. Health, everyone says. Okay, we'll go health. Oh, and it is the last room. What is up, failure? How's it going, man? Strength of the centaurs. Almost, almost 100. So close. Okay, any nice little golden urns you want to give us here? None that I can see, but double check just in case. And I don't think there was fish sound. I don't think I see any fish, but 
Okay. So, now we'll see how this works out. This is, I think, the real test more than... I mean, yes, I was concerned that we might not even make it past Meg. And now here we are with full life going into the... <laughs> the Theseus Minotaur fight, but we'll see how this goes. The turkey, I'm hoping that's gonna help a lot. Ah, at last. Yeah, we're almost at starting him out of health. This Granted, you would normally have more than that at this stage in the game, but here goes nothing. Well, well not okay, I think, oh, early. oh my god, that's a horrendous start. I do think the Minotaur is where I want to start. Oh my god. We are ruining what was a good start here. Uh, okay, that's confused. This is what they were talking to do there. Can get the life back. That is the benefit. I'm not sure if that hit anyone. Okay, Minotaur is charging. And he got nowhere. I got both of them that time. I think we did get both of them that time, so we're getting back up. He's charging. That was closer to hitting me than I thought it would be. Can get some life back, even from Theseus. Oh, Minotaur is lower than half HP? When did that happen? Oh, I almost didn't see that coming. Got a little greedy there. Tried to sneak in an extra attack as well. Uh-oh. Oh, well, I thought that was Theseus starting to go Super Saiyan on us. Not quite. Oh, that was just me being silly, thinking that I was behind that stanchion there when I was not. Okay, Minotaur down. Should be more straightforward, at least for the moment, until he goes and summons a god on us, which he's granted somewhat close to doing. I'd like to get some health back before that happens, ideally. That's not a great place to be standing against him, but here it is. Is that technically Poseidon? Stand there either. Does good. Uh, you're lucky not to have gotten hit there. It is nice to be able to just kind of do a hit and run against him. That strategy does work fairly well against Theseus. And there it is. Pretty sure full life. Yeah. Never meet your heroes. Uh. <laughs> I think I like Guan Yu. I think I like it a lot. Very nice. Damn. He's back. I assume there's yeah, there's like never anything else in this arena, right? Nothing good awaits beyond my realm. <laughs> I also didn't use any casts at all. Who needs them? Who needs to get the extra, what is it? 10% damage and, or 20% damage and take 10% less damage? Not necessary. My keepsakes. We're here with full HP. Who needs it? Okay, so we could go another yarn of Ariadne. That certainly worked pretty well for us, seemingly worked pretty well for us before with the rare crop. Where we got all epic options. Granted, we're only on 150 coins at the moment. 150 ovals. That does mean that we could potentially walk in and immediately purchase a boom. But if we do this, then we won't be able to do that. Don't need the life restoration. The additional cast, honestly, is probably a bad thing for us at the moment. Even now, we want to be getting rid of our bloodstones. In my defense, I have not been the one deciding what we purchased. 
yeah, we've been, like I said before, going very aggressive on the wells. Yeah, what we've been doing darkness originally we were like oh just buy some darkness you know we're probably gonna die almost immediately so get some stuff that will last long term for future runs don't focus so much on investing in this run here and well we did that for basically all of tartarus and maybe even some of uh astrodel as well and here we are going into sticks now think it's still worth the yarn What's that failure? You think the the boon? So we know we're pretty sure we're gonna get a, a boon option in the next room, right? But it'll cost 150 at least. There should be a 150 option. Usually there's some more powerful versions as well. The problem is we're sitting on exactly 150 ovals, so obviously we subtract 70 from that end. We're gonna have to go through a room before we end up getting to the point where we can purchase one of those upgraded rarity boons. Just buy the art? Okay. Anything that is worth selling? I suppose that could potentially be a way to make it so that we could immediately purchase something. Don't know if any of these feel like they are reasonable options. Baylor says, <laughs> I don't know. And Peach is like, do not dare sell anything. So Blade Dash, it does contribute toward the Blender theme, but maybe isn't fantastic. I think it is doing something for us on occasion, and there are a lot of small rooms in the Temple Sticks. So I could imagine some enemies being pinned in a corner against the Blade Dash and that actually dealing somewhat significant damage. Good, just underappreciated. I feel like this is one of the... This might be the best floor for it. it. Seems like people are generally on the fence. No one is like, yes, absolutely sell it. So I think for that reason, unless anyone is dead set on us doing that, then we ought to move on. Let's get going. To the and hope that there might be Check. some golden urns on our way over here, because oftentimes there are. That might make it a little bit easier for us to get aggressive purchasing some stuff from the upcoming super shop. There's one of them, at least. The and Failer, you will appreciate this. Listen closely, and you will hear that there are imp or actually Isle of Calamar sounds in this group. Notice that one of those was a golden urn, apparently was. Listen carefully. Not as loud here. Louder at the beginning? No, it's particularly quiet this time around for some reason. If you listen closely, you can tell. Okay, there is a fishing spot usually here. down there, but it is not this time. There is a heart. Not far from here, the dead begin their journey to their final resting place down in the depths below. And so the river boatman Charon. Oh, sorry. Generous selection of his wares. Accidentally clicked and <laughs> skip that. <laughs> My bad. But there is a max life upgrade. There is a palm. We're actually quite close to being able to afford at least the palm. Where is the fish? It is hiding from us. I was told there was a fish here somewhere. And I do not presently see it. Hanging out by Cerberus? It is. Put you up to this. Okay. So hold on. I'll show you what the rooms are. Mini boss Athena, Demeter, Max Life, Mini Boss Palm, and Coins. While you're thinking about what we ought to do first, I will fish. Sure, why not? That was a quick one. one. It's a Caught me a bit off guard. We still got it. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. But also, it's definitely not Brighton, although actually we technically can't confirm that it isn't. So, it is possible. It wasn't intentional, I swear. <laughs> My hand slipped. We have one vote for Demeter. In case Arctic Blast, and that's the one that, what, deals a bunch of damage if you get up to 10 stacks of chill? Is that what that one is? And also, bear in mind, next boon is increased rarity. So, next one is should be good, whatever we're going for. If you think Demeter is the best type of boon we can get at this point, then Demeter it is. But I think we'd be better served going Athena, then maybe we try saving up for that. Or going through the mini boss room. It's definitely bright. Is Yarn increased chance of legendary? I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. Peach says no. Okay, were you thinking maybe Athena Legendary might have been nice? But if it doesn't work for increasing the chances of Legendary, then maybe Demeter is the way to go. Hop was thinking Athena first, then Demeter. Okay, do we have any other opinions then? Any other preferences to break the tie? Go Athena just to see if we can get her dash. We do have the Blade Dash, but... Yeah, we were saying that that might not be the best thing. Okay, no, everyone's saying go with Lena now. Okay. Hey. Here's the mini boss room. It will be tougher. Guan Yu will absolutely shred these mice, these rats. And we'll get a little bit of coins. Oh, and almost missed that. Behind the next order, behind the yes. I was going to say, probably not, but, uh, turns out, yes. Good thing we checked. <laughs> More little rats. That one, oh, thought did manage to sneak up on us. Apparently not, though. Oh, 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 I almost didn't even pay any attention to that thing that was about to explode on us, so. Luckily, dashed out of the way the last second. Who's next? Oh, I hate satyrs. Save the saviors. Please go away. I kind of remembered to throw the cast that time. Oh. Okay. So we got killing freeze all the way up to epic rarity. Our deflect damage. Wow. Dealing a boatload extra and then lots of revenge damage there so that's that's yeah it's gonna be a ton of deflect damage for sure 60 times 2.9 if it weren't almost 2 a.m right now i would attempt to do that mental math Probably the last room in this branch. I used cast in the last room. I did. I used it in the last room. Not that one. This is probably gonna be the last one, and we'll see which super enemy we have. Is it the Super Seder? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just a tiny uh oh. Something tells me what? it's not that straightforward. It's I've not seen this guy before. Bad vermin. Don't do that. Stay away. But also, heal us. What are you doing? Whoa! Going crazy is the answer and dealing a ton of damage with that. What the heck is that? It's possessed. It has superpowers. And in some ways, actually bringing out the, the little friends is somewhat helpful. It gives us more enemies to hit. on you. I just want to make sure that you don't hit us with that. Do 
you get super speedy and you chase after us. It seems it's your thing. Love if those poison things would go away. Also, where is the speedy guy? He's over there. Whoa, so speedy. Is it gone? I don't think it's gone. You have to say, is it gone? That usually means it's not gone. <laughs> Furman vanquished. Yeah. Can we teleport? So vicious yet so tiny. <laughs> I've never seen that guy before. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. <laughs> and yes, we finished on full life. Nice. Okay. Hopefully, we luck out and get some nice Athena action here. Who needs the casts? Who needs them? <laughs> we were basically fighting Gilman. In the name of Hades. Okay, so we did not get the legendary. We, earlier in the run, had a normal rarity bronze skin, sold it, because we were like, eh, 5% damage reduced is nothing, right? 7%? Is that good enough? Better cast, even though we're basically just throwing them away at the beginning? Maybe I'll remember a little bit more if they're a little more specially. Getting several on the cast. One person I thought said bronze skin. No phalanx shot. There's a whole boon for better deflect. That is true. The special, I honestly never use. The cast, I do use on occasion. And I should use the cast more. We have 190% increased damage when we deflect, though. So, yeah, that, that could actually turn the cast into something a little special. A little more awesome. If we can use it strategically rather than just throw it willy-nilly at the beginning. If I deflect the skulls, then that might be good. Yeah! Could be. Could be good. <laughs> Careful. Alright, it seems like you're all saying the cast. Strength of the goddess. And then I think we cleared out anything else in here, but I'll double check. Okay. Okay, so we're on 129 points, so we could get the max life if we'd like. Could get the palm if we'd like. Otherwise, we have Demeter, life, points, palm. Try to get that other Athena because the chances are legendary. How much is it? It's 450. What are we looking at right now? 129. This is a guaranteed 100. And then whatever else we can get from just clearing out rooms. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a trove in six. Palm on attack. Honestly, we're so attack-centric at the moment. We have lots of attack boons. We have the damage here. And we have a whole bunch of damage here. Juan Yu, I think, by default, might have a high amount of damage. Oh, we have Jerky is still active. <laughs> so we have tons of damage there. So, at least, well, Jerky is active. Again, the attack damage upgrade would, would be absurd. Maybe just do everything? Okay, well, in what order, perhaps, is maybe the better question then. I unfortunately do not believe I can do a flip. What's up? What's up, Vod?
First the palm. Ooh, palm is the mini boss. We might be at full health anyway, but okay. Um, it is. And I really hope it's not the Seder. And that may end up being the case. I did get in there. But we have Seder's here. Ow. And that was very bad timing. I, that was not smart. What was that? Oh, not full life. How dare I. Oh, we just got more boons to upgrade rarity. Yep, they are up to heroic now. So yeah, we're talking more than double damage on deflect. And just more base reflect damage as well. Or sorry, this is deflect, not reflect. This is reflect, not deflect. Totally different. Do a cast. There you go. Look at that. Some casts. I didn't know we could do that. He says, knowing that we could have been doing that a lot more. I did it that time. I think there's gonna be, yeah, one more room of normal guys before we run into the final one. This is going to be the tough one. If it's a satyr, we're screwed. Except we it is... I suppose in, in one way, it is satyr. Satyr sack. Just the foul sack I need. Please don't ever speak those words again. God's grant me strength. Okay, so we could... Oh, it's a super palm. I didn't even realize that. Double upgrade attack. Double upgrade cast. Double upgrade deflect damage. Seems like people are saying frost is the way to go. Extra damages. Okay. Jeez. We'll go that route, and we're on full life, but we'll take this, because... You have to. Oh, what's in this stuff? There's any gold urns hiding here. Okay. Let's head on out. And I have an yeah, interesting question for you. Because as it should check the other As it before. turns out, we have exactly one room of Cyclops jerky remaining. So this is 60% damage. If we go in and fight the boss right now if we don't we can of course get more coins max life a demeter boon maybe be able to afford additional things at this shop but is that worth 60 percent damage do we think we'll get more than that because i feel like 60% damage is humongous. I'm not even sure there is mathematically a way in which we could get that much from a boot. So yeah, I'm thinking, in my opinion, palm or life, and immediately into Hades, seems like that might be the way to go. So that we get that 60% damage boost. Because otherwise, we're going to be... Yeah, we might be able to get some other passive things or a little bit of damage. But we're not going to be able to get anywhere near 60, I don't think. Baylor says go. Aqua says Athena. We cannot currently afford. We are a little under 300 away. 
we get a guaranteed 100 out of this room. Not even sure we'd be able to afford Athena, though, even if we did everything. Baylor's like, nothing's as good as the jerky. Peach? I'm assuming Peach is thinking heart and maybe double heart, even? Like, we are very split at the moment. Very split. One person saying palm, one person saying heart, one person saying save up for Athena. So no one agrees on the shop. One person is saying go through here. One person is saying go through here. The other person is presumably saying go through here because we would need as many coins as possible. But I don't think we agree on anything. So, <laughs> alright, can we convince someone who either hasn't voted yet to vote and break the tie, or someone who was voting for something else to convert, or does someone want to cash in a reward to, to lock in our choice one way or the other? What do we think? And yeah, if we were able to find ourselves one of those uh, pools of Purging, is that what they're called? If we were able to purge some boons, then we would definitely be able to get up to 450, assuming that the boons we're purging are ones that we're willing to purge, which may not be the case. But also that, by definition, does require that we go through additional rooms and lose the 60% attack damage from the jerky. Oh, <laughs> and then everyone goes in to cash in the rewards. Hold on. Who got it in first? Peach got in the heart room first. I was going to say Peach got the heart shop in first, and who? So it's heart room, which beat Failure's Hades room by a fraction of a second. Redis also chose heart. So we, we have a bit of a, a tiebreaker that way as well. And then Aqua chose Athena for the shop. So that means, I think where that leaves us is we're going heart room, at least first, if, if I could walk at all. Heart room first, and then if we have enough coins, then we're going Athena. If it turns out that, you know, we go through every single room, and that still may not be something that we choose to do, but if we do, and we end up shy of 450, then we might end up doing something else instead. It might just not be possible. So we'll give it a shot. Um, I don't really like where you're standing. I did cast. Guys, proud of me. Use my cast. I like that. I'm rich. We kind of are rich. Three gold pots right next to each other. Very nice. This is a bit of a tricky room here. And there is still this high bind, for which I'm very thankful. I see anything. So we're just we're moving. We're just moving. Another golden pot. I threw the cast for the record. Not at the very beginning, but I threw them. Okay. This is either the last one or there's one more in this panel. <laughs> Nightbot is not happy. Ah, uh, this is the last room. Oh no. Not, not the satyrs. Not the satyrs. They're mini boss satyrs, no less. Or, well, they're, they're the armored satyrs. Do you 
sneak him out. Good. And there's one more. Yep. I saw that coming. I'd kind of like to be standing right next to the cure. And the chill times 10 he is very helpful too. There's more of them! There's no escape. Confirmed. He is very slow though. He is very nice. Okay. Different. Oh, different, different, different style, different style. Um, um, I'm trying to get to the cure. I'm trying to get to the cure. There we go. <laughs> little, little frazzled there. And more poison. It is this satyr again. That is why they snipe you from afar. Thought you hit me with that one. I'm pretty sure you did. You did that time. This is why I hate satyrs. They always hit me. I always end up scrambling to find the poison and usually do not succeed. I do so efficiently. So, not full life, but we did get more max life. Of course, we do have the ability to restore some life. Okay, so... Still can't afford Athena, but we will continue to try to save up for that because Aqua did cash that in. So if we can, These tunnels. try to make it happen. As for next room, I assume we want to do another room given how we're not on full life. Demeter... Probably, maybe, possibly. Okay, maybe just Oval. We're a little bit indecisive here. Any other options? Any other choices? Any other opinions? Votes? Looks like we might actually be thinking Majority Demeter. Thanks, Ange. Oh, no. Get rid of the cast. Get rid of both. Okay, got some life back. Took care of a Seder room. Hopefully, that means that there will not be any going forward, but who knows. Almost got stuck there, standing where we did not want to stay. Okay, a little bit more life back. More Seders! I didn't ask for this. Do the pass. I'll have you know. I do the pass. And we're back. We're back to full now. Okay. Cool. Breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, last room. Yes. Confirm. This room is tricky. Cure is, I believe, hiding those traps, if I remember correctly. So if you do get poisoned, you are in a dangerous place. And this can, of course, make poison come out. Is this the last guy? It is not. Very much is not. In fact, it's not where I wanted to stand. Nor is that. Nor is that. Find a happy place. But it's not there. Let's take out a few of them. Give ourselves a little more breathing room here. Nice. It's Demeter. Okay. This guy found one too many satyrs. Olympus, I accept this message. Did the collar give us more health? I don't. Oh, did the collar just reach rank three? I think it did. I didn't even notice. call. Speaking of calls, we could potentially get a Demeter call. Or we could get Arctic Blast, which I think is what Peach was saying was the thing that we would be hoping to get from Demeter. Maybe Aqua as well? It was there, as is the aid, and we don't have an aid at the moment, so that might be helpful. We don't have a special either, although 
think we're very much in a an attack and to a certain extent cast centric build to the point that we're just dumping the cast as soon as we enter a room. And we are stacking those chills pretty easily because we have the chill on our attack. So if we use the the Guan Yu circle, then we're basically just almost I mean probably not getting ten stacks immediately, but from a couple attacks we should be able to get it. So one vote for this. Any consensus or opinions to the contrary? I thought that other people were saying they also wanted this. But if no one disagrees, then we can just take it. Yay. Your silence is telling, I suppose. <laughs> All right, Thaler. <laughs> Maybe in fire, but not now. All right. And Ange confirms the Arctic Blast for sure. The winter's chill. Sounds good. Thank you, Ange. That's a lot of coin. Colder in there anymore that we should be aware of. I think so. We headed back. Going back. How are we doing on coins? Not at 450 yet, but we de we do now know for certain that uh, if we are to go through the oval room, then we will get a guaranteed 100. So we could even get the, the Athena and possibly even a palm, depending on how many other coins we get. Or if we run into a, a well, a mini shop, then we might be able to purchase something there. All right, now it is oval time. More satyrs. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I did get one of those back. I didn't mean to get it back. And potential way to get more. But these have all been pretty fundamental pieces to what we're working with. Anything that we feel might be worth purging? In which case, we might be able to afford additional palms. Otherwise... We have, we have a lot of... We're already at 400, so we've gotten some gold urns along the way. Alright, I will assume... If you do not specifically specify that we are not looking to sell purge any booms, especially since those are ones that have been pretty fundamental to what we've been doing on this run. Just go. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here immediately. What, you got me again? Okay. Excuse me? And I did not use Guan Yu's spin attack nearly as much as I should have there. So we took damage from getting poisoned twice, and then didn't get much of it back. This should be the last room, I think. Which means... Oh, uh, no, it isn't. I hit even by the rats there. This should be a good chance for us to get a bit of life back. There we go. Back to full. No big deal. A little bit of coins while we're at it. This should be the last room. This is where it matters, making sure that we... Oh? Oh, maybe it is. Weird shape. Usually you don't see the poison cloud things in anything other than the last room. Oh? Is this me, or is this... This avenue seems significantly longer than the avenues usually are. I don't know. Okay, well, nothing else to do here. Let's keep on going. This is the last room. Okay, lots of those guys. And it's gonna be hard. Ow. Make sure that we don't get hit by them at all. 
especially if they mess with us from an angle perspective. Really want to get rid of some of them early. Otherwise, there is quite literally no way to take zero damage. We're back to full now. There are more of them, of course. That was just bad positioning on my part. We get our angles right here. Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Bad time. I don't even know what it was that dealt damage that time. Whoa! Where did all of you come from? Not ask for this. Ooh, bad place to stand, probably, for that. I think it's the damage from having everyone in the room kill. It might be. I think we still have that. Here we go. We still managed to finish on full life. Got the 100 ovals. And are there any other golden urns or things of the like that we should be aware of? I don't think so. So I think we're headed back and we are actually sitting on over 550, which means we'll be able to get both the Athena and the Paul. for one good boy. Almost, almost could afford the heart as well. Always be casting. Yeah, I don't think I casted much in that last room there. Okay, but we had a request for the Athena boom. We'll take that. Cheers, mate. No legendary. But our abilities that deflect also make foes exposed. We do have a lot of deflect, reflect going on. Perviousness to Death Defiance, with following Death Defiance, might be a good thing going into a boss fight. What do we think? What do we want? I know we didn't necessarily get the thing that we were looking for. Not the ideal answer, at least. Not the ideal option. But I think either of these could potentially be helpful. This might be helpful for Hades, but who knows if we're gonna get that low. <laughs> Whereas Binding Flash, Binding Flash, I should say. What are we most, we're mostly getting the deflect on either the cast now, we do have that, or the, the revenge damage, which is hopefully not gonna be happening too often. In which case, we're not gonna be getting the advantage of this all that often. The special, we are basically just never using because we could instead use the life regeneration on the attack, and we have lots of bonus attack damage. Flash might be good, because it is at least more damage. 75% is more than jerky. It is situational. since it's uh, only when we manage to deflect the attacks and when we attack them from behind. But it is possible. And the spins might just never count as backstabs. That's, that may be the case. Cast then backstab for enormous damage? Possibly. But if I'm being honest, I'm probably just going to end up using the fully charged spin attack nine times out of ten. It is purple, though. It seems like people are saying blind and flash. There are definitely some pros and cons. Maybe it'll be really helpful under certain circumstances. Maybe those circumstances won't come up that often, but it seems most people are saying, yeah, it's worth it. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta spin to win, right? So we'll take that. Divine protection. We are oh so close to being able to afford that. But we can only do the palm. 
unfortunately. But we might get something decent out of that. Don't think we'll need to detonate. Detonate dead. Oh god. That's Path of Exile. That's what DD is in. Path of Exile. No, Death Defiance. We probably won't need. We'll see. And we're definitely not using the special. So, by definition, or by default, does mean that that was the way to go. Okay, and then we'll take the palm, because we can. Always a pleasure, Charon. In which case, we could upgrade the thing that we just got. And that is a lot of extra damage. We could also deal more damage when we deflect. Or we could have our revenge damage be higher. It's a, it's a bit of a, a theme here. <laughs> I mean, these are basically the boons we have, because our most powerful things are hammer upgrades, and you can't upgrade those. There is the, the normal attack that we have, that we've upgraded with a super palm. But aside from that, there isn't much else that we could have gotten. Yeah, but that would have been ideal, probably. Granted, we do get diminishing returns, and we have already upgraded it twice, so we might have found that the amount of damage we would have gained actually wouldn't have been that significant. One vote for Flash. All I'm just saying that's probably the way to go as well. So that's two for Flash. Any dissenting opinion, or is Flash the way to go? Peach for Flash as well? Okay, so that seems like we're certainly in majority territory now. Let's go there. So the backstab, if we can fit it in, will be quite good. And there's only one thing left to do. Joyfully, the Hound of Hell accepts another Satyr sack. <laughs> only because Odin wanted it. Well, then we have reached a consensus. I owe you one, boy. And, well, let's give it a go. Who knows? Who knows? Remember, cast you. first. Take good care of Varatha for me. What have you done with my ancient weapon, boy? <laughs> I sense Varatha's form there in your feeble grip, but there's some garish power you've awakened in it, haven't you? Maybe. Oh, just took a splash of Titan blood at the right time was all. There's more to your ancient weapon than you gave it credit for, I guess. Though let's not keep it waiting, no? He is Titan blood at that. No, let's not. Gygaros is the mightier weapon with none of the treacherous past. It needs no fanciful shape-shifting tricks to run you through. Behold. We'll see about that. Prophecy fulfilled. I don't know what it was, but apparently. Oh, I tried to do it. I tried to go in for the, the backstab immediately afterward. I don't think we got it. Nope, we got a deflect there. I think I might have seen the word deflect pop up. Saw that coming. 36 is a ton. That is the problem. Is he deals a boatload of damage. And with one hit, he can almost take us out. Maybe not quite, but he knew a lot. And this is one of the few occasions, that I would say, him having friends? Oh, just barely in the AOE of that one. Him having friends is actually kind of helpful. Flex. Uh, maybe, but he disappeared before I could try to backstab him. Still got it. Maybe, but also, 
He's nice. Get some life back. Again. And 36, I think, is the amount of damage that he does. Would have been an opportunity to cast. Ah, that was also. Don't stand there. Wasn't quite quick enough with the dash. Oh, damn it. Idiot. Okay. That is first phase down, though. So I think it's still a good place to be. All right, then, boy. You've stirred my anger suitably by now. <laughs> yeah, we were joking before about it. Let's see if we can finish off the job, though. Ow. It's not a good way to start. Stay out of there. This is for your own good. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Can I go on you do that? No. No, it's the answer. Guess which direction he was gonna go. He's charging that up. Saw it coming. Didn't hit you there, unfortunately. These are gonna hurt. They do, man, hit us. Oh man, that was bad. That was really bad. As was that. Oh man. I would like you to start spawning ads again, actually, of all things. That was actually dangerously close, and we should not have gotten hit there. We were one hit away. And we get some life back in the nick of time. We need it. Not enough yet. Still not enough. It's still not enough. What do you mean by that? Brat. What? I didn't realize he was that low, though. So stubborn. You shrug off death as though it means nothing to you. I honestly didn't even realize he was that low. See you at home. By my father's name. So much for a quick run. GG easy. So uh for context, we we beat Hades for the first time, at least on this file, in the previous run, and we were like, oh, we have enough Titan Blood to unlock Wan Yu. It's a weird weapon. We're probably gonna suck and not succeed with it. We'll do a quick Quick run with that, see what happens. Blood of the Titans. Probably gonna die early, so it won't be too much of a late night. And Aqua jokingly says after the first room, yeah, only 68 more to go. And you know what? You were right. No big deal. Thus having somehow vanquished his own. Oh, it's Mega actually. Like I'm sorry. Of the dead. Defiant as Agrius is finally set free to seek the hidden place in which his long lost birth mother resides. How shall that all work out for him? Alas, it is as yet too soon to say. Pretend for now that the Lord Hades absolutely clobbered him. No, wait! <laughs> no! All right. Well, that was interesting. That was very interesting indeed. So, there's our, our streak of two. Despite doing everything in our power to make it not happen. Between taking the weapon, we were like, ah, it's not upgraded yet. It's pretty hard when it's not upgraded. And uh, the other thing is at the beginning of the run, we were also deliberately picking things that were long-term upgrades. Things that we'd 
knew were not going to affect this run. We were, like, just buying darkness at shops, buying gems, and I just can't buy gems from shops, but doing troves just for gems. That type of thing, rather than saving up for things that would immediately affect us because we thought we were going to die early. What's the giant pack posted out in the courtyard, Father? You offering me a job? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's one way to uh, start off with our first victory on the spear. Perish the thought. It's so that all your toiling can be more painful, nothing more. And we threw the pack of punishment on as well. Why would I want my toiling to be more painful than it already is? Who knows, boy, or better yet, who cares? To make the mortals up there worship you for all your labors? Go on, then. Go get yourself dispatched some more. So I can make well certain that my realm can properly contain you. <laughs> it's a deal. All right. Shades, please fall below. Ooh. What do we have here? I've done the best I could preparing him. Though I'm fearful it was not enough. No one ever has escaped this place. Oh, excuse me? Excuse me? Your expertise has readied him, Achilles. Yet I sense it is your confidence in him which spurs him on. Do not lose faith in yourself now, lest soon he do the same. My faith is prone to shakiness at times. Mm. Timing, though. to apologize because I think maybe I didn't act very appropriately last time you spoke to me but I just really really like this job and I promise I will always do my very best so I just hope I'll have another chance she did ask us out last time do so please there's no need to apologize you've been doing a wonderful job really um, what you really mean it Prince I thank you Thanks so much. Oh. I saw sparks. Okay. State your so, purpose. we finally have enough gems for what I believe was Peach's request from the previous stream, and now I think Aqua re-requested it this time just to confirm that we spend our gems on the Trove upgrade. We thought it would be a while before we'd get the chance to do it, but turns out, get some nice fish, it's not so bad after all. All right. If this isn't a good expenditure of resources, then I don't know what is. I think you were right there, Zagreus. That's going to make a big difference, getting some nice probes. And unfortunately, from a gem standpoint, we can't afford any other major upgrades, although we could do something purely for decorative purposes, if we would like. And I think we did even have enough for, yeah, diamond upgrades. That's of interest. So those could be a thing. And Aqua says faded keys is the way to go. Okay. I'm hereby authorizing this expenditure. And I look forward to seeing the result. We shall see. Would that your birthright give you better sense. Okay, so out of diamonds now. That's definitely not an option anymore. Say Orpheus, if I ever tell you I once single-handedly slew a multi-headed bone hydra within the magma fields of Asphodel without so much as breaking a sweat. <laughs> my, that is wonderful to hear, my friend. Another in a litany of such heroic deeds, more noble than the heroes of our verse, and even great Achilles over there. Ooh, careful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. These tales of my valorous accomplishments do seem to cheer you up, so I will keep reporting back once I rack up some more. Done a lot more than take out the Hydra, though. Megaris not around. Not. Unfortunately, no Meg to gift a Nectar, because she is one of the two people whom we have not gifted yet. Uh, let's see. I don't remember which fish we got, but picked up a few in that run. Here, you can have these, Chef. Whoa! Pleasure doing business. And that's what I mean. You can pick up gems pretty quickly that way. So that might actually mean we could afford earns of greater wealth if we'd like. Doubling the amount of coins they have, that could make a difference. So that's an option. That's of interest. What happened next? Uh 
Otherwise, the mirror. I mean, we're certainly racking up a lot of darkness. We could upgrade some things here that either the blood or deep pockets could swap around to some of the other options that we haven't really been using. That's of interest. But for the most part, it seemed we were waiting to unlock the next round of upgrades here before diving too much into the darkness upgrades. That's an option as well. We do have several, I believe, prophecies that we have now Another fulfilled. Prophecy. Or at least made available to us. Oh. What was this one? Eternal spear shall someday rise from the inner world. In a form, it shall assume again in the hands of a peerless warrior whose tale is yet to be spun. I'm assuming this is bring like, reveal Varatha's secret and bring it to the surface. So one you. I assume. Prophecy fulfilled. Getting two Ambrosia out of it? Not bad. Oh, here are all the, the new ones. Oh, I, I guess we just haven't really bounced over them, but at some point. We'll probably do some of these. Maybe, possibly. Okay. Where? What? Skelly? What happened to Skelly? Where, 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 where'd Skelly go? Uh-oh. Okay, well, anyways. So with that, I think, after having gone on what was originally supposed to be just a quick little bonus run, and ultimately turning into a full-blown run that made it all the way to Hades, this is definitely going to have to be the place where we close up shop for the night. Because uh, at this point, it is basically, it is morning. There is no escape. Oh no, what do we do? I'm afraid this time around, at 2.30 a.m., yes, there is. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you had as much fun tonight as I did. We certainly did a lot of cool stuff this time around. It has, uh, let's see. Well, we defeated Hades for the first time. We unlocked Guan Yu for the first time. Decided, yeah, why not? We'll give it a shot. Made it all the way to the end with Guan Yu and beat Hades again. And, you know, managed to upgrade a few trinkets and upgrade a bunch of things. The house contractor as well. So long term, it'll definitely help us out as well. So I think 